Hey everybody, this is Jim Grisanzio from the Oracle Groundbreakers team, and we are here in Bangalore, India, and I'm here with my guest, Sean Krishnamurti. Sean, welcome. Hi, Jim. Now, I'm really excited to have this conversation, Sean, because this is the first time I'm making an interview here about Oracle Code Innovate, which is a program that I've been talking about in a lot of my interviews at the Oracle you know, Code you know, Tour. Mm -hmm. um, and this is actually a new program that we've been working on for about six months or so now. True. And this particular event in Bangalore this week is in collaboration with, with uh, Cisco. Cisco. Right. So let's start, just sort of you know, back up a little bit here and explain what Oracle Code Innovate is. This is uh, Jim, happy to be with you. Uh, this is a program uh, that's run by Oracle, uh, of course, uh, along with some of our customers. So this is, uh, I would say, personally, a transformational way of learning uh, from a typical traditional training, right? So this is typically, this goes on for three days. Uh, we start with, a, a, you know, a structured learning around Oracle products. And then the customer comes with their business and their business processes to the table. We do a lot of ideation, bring in a lot of uh, scrum methodologies into it to understand the business challenges, map that to what Oracle products can do. And there is a phase where we do ideate and also come up with solutions. Now here, the Cisco engineers are working very, very closely with the Oracle engineers, right? While Oracle engineers will bring the wealth of Oracle product knowledge, the Cisco engineers bring their business processes and their challenges and they work together to find, you know, not one, but several solutions to their challenges. So basically, okay, so this is a real collaborative effort here where, I mean, I see in the room here that these guys are behind the computer actually together and they're working, you know, side by side. Um, and you mentioned Scrum, so I'm the Scrum Master actually for this particular event. You're the tech lead since you're a director here of the Oracle Tech Hub, right? Correct. Okay. So what, what sorts of projects in general, because we've done this event with several other you know, companies here in Bangalore as well. In general, can you describe some of the projects mm -hmm. that the engineers are coming up with? Sure. And before I jump into this, Jim, I also want to tell one thing, right? So how is this different from any other way of learning? So this is doing, right? I would like to emphasize this is doing. And what are you doing? Really focusing on your problems close to, you know, real life business problems that you're trying to solve. So that's the differentiator. Right? You learn at a tremendously high pace than any other way of learning, you know. So, so, who's, so who's learning here? Is it Cisco engineers or is it Oracle Absolutely. engineers? Absolutely. The learning is mutual. Okay. So While it's Cisco gets to solve okay. their business problem using some of the products and technology that we have, which is pretty open, I would say. And uh, for Oracle engineers, it's all about learning business processes, how various businesses work and how critical some of these business processes are for the customers. Okay, so the customer's coming in with specific problems to solve and our engineers will get to benefit from solving those specific problems. Absolutely. Let's see, okay. And uh, you asked me about some of those use cases that we are seeing. There are typically two different things that we see. One is uh, business innovation, right? Where with the new age technology, how can you completely transform the way you are doing things and get that edge uh, using technology, right? So other is complete technical innovation, right? So there is business innovation, there is technical innovation. Some of the use cases that we've been seeing are around a blockchain, right? How do two businesses communicate using blockchain? How do you make the delivery channels simpler and, you know, highly available in terms of using various devices, uh, various channels in terms of uh, chatbots, web, mobile. So in today's age, this becomes easy and many of our products are designed to help multi-channel. Um, we have seen cloud migration, cloud transformation projects where you want to bring in a layer of pass on SaaS and show innovations, right? We've also seen a lot of digital transformations uh, projects uh, that are being kicked off uh, based on the learnings here. Interesting. Okay. Now, we're actually, in terms of the three-day sequence, we're actually halfway through day two, right? And we just we just finished the morning stand-ups. We've got um, five teams, mm -hmm. five engineering teams actually in there working. 
Um, walk us through a little bit of the format. You mentioned Scrum sure. Agile, sure. Um, because this is you know both you know, companies have given these guys your permission to mm -hmm. you know hack for three days. Yes. Uh, with no supervision, but they're using this framework. Okay, Absolutely. This so walk us through some of the things that we're actually doing in terms of the structure of the event. Fantastic. So so this is a nice framework. Like you mentioned, this is not a rigid framework. This is very flexible. And like you said, there is no big authority here. It's clearly developers engaging with developers. Like I said, it starts with a bit of structured learning in terms of what Oracle could offer. And then the ideation where we bring in the business processes and see how technology works and we kind of make it more specific in terms of what you want to solve. And that takes us to nearly the second half of the first day. Right? Then you start hacking after you, you know, kind of explain the use cases to the rest of the group. There's usually groups working uh, on each of these use cases. Then the groups actually then talk about these use cases and we start hacking. So the hacking starts right on day one and then continues through the day two. And both while we start and we end, we have this hand of meetings to check where we are with respect to the use cases, what is required in terms of infrastructure, other resources, so that the developers have everything they need. And on day three, we again start with a stand up and then continue into the second half of day two, where we actually prepare for lightning talks. These lightning talks are about demoing what the developers have developed to a set of uh, panels, let's call jury, uh, who actually judge uh, based on what's expected from the business on how well some of these use cases have been developed. Now, where does the panel come from? The panel comes from the customer. The customer. Okay. The whole of jury is from the customer. Okay. Yeah. All right, and then we and yeah, then we give them some awards, right? We Absolutely. Awards. So there are. This is what makes the whole thing really interesting, right? So this is um, a competition, right? That a friendly makes competition. each of a very fair competition. But they actually get pretty darn competitive, though. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's what makes brings in a lot of enthusiasm and motivation for the developers to complete these uh, use cases. And many of them are end to end, from starting from one SaaS and ending with the other. Right? Excellent. Okay, so. We're going to finish up here tomorrow, and um, then we will basically move on to the next one. You know, there's several other events that are happening in the United, actually in the U.S. right now, um, and then we can expect more of these events as well um, as as more customers actually learn about it. You know, absolutely. And we're getting interest from all regions around the world. So absolutely, this this new way of learning is definitely transformative, and. The time required to start working on, let's say, Oracle Cloud or any of these technologies is barely minimal. Mm -hmm. Day two, day three, you see uh, the customers are more confident in terms of using Oracle technologies. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, Sean Krishnamurti, thank you very much. Pleasure is mine, Jen. And uh, I'll have more interviews for, with, with you know projects like this in the future as well, but I just wanted you guys to see what we're actually doing here in Bangalore this week. And uh, that's it. So we'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thank bye. you.